Go on, whisper, whisper. Who is it? I know, I know. Go over and tell him how much you like his movies. What is she whispering to me? That's the question. In this week's Street Hypnosis, we're going to look at a clip where things just don't go as I've planned. Does that mean it's not working? Does that mean it wasn't entertaining and that she doesn't get anything out of it or the audience doesn't get anything out of it? That's what I'm gonna be talking about today. So it's about recovering maybe from a bad situation. Can I recover? Keep watching inside. Hi there, my name is Tara Mirza. I'm a hypnotist and clinical hypnotherapist. Every week I show you a clip of street hypnosis, some fun stuff. You've seen this girl before and I'll put links to the previous videos from her and I'll also leave the links in the description section below. I always do that with all my videos. So if you wanna see related videos, uh, videos, other videos of the same person, check out the description section below and find those links as well. And I leave markers in the YouTube video so you can go straight to the timeline and find out exactly where the street hypnosis is. Either if you just want to watch the street hypnosis fun and all, that's all you're here for. Or if you want to jump back to re-look at it after you've watched the tutorial. Because please do stay after the street hypnosis is finished because I'll be talking about various aspects of what goes on in the videos. And this week I'm going to be talking about recovering when things don't go right if you can recover at all. That's a bit of clickbait to keep you watching the tutorial. Let's see what happens next. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you give it a like, and don't forget, click the subscribe button and that bell notification button next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time a new video comes out from myself. And please do leave a comment in the comment section below. From time to time, people leave comments and I make videos just for you guys in answer to the questions that you ask in the comments. And often people are asking me about what happens when things don't go right? How can you recover? Can you recover? So check out this video right now. Here it comes. But when you're awake, I'm gonna ask you who your favorite movie star is, that person you've always wanted to meet. I'm gonna ask you who your favorite movie star is, the person you've always wanted to meet. And you're gonna tell me. So one, two, three, open your eyes. Let's do a quick maths test, hold your hands up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Of course, of course it is. Um, uh, who's your favourite movie star? Tom Holland. Tom Holland? Oh, the old Spider-Man. Oh, young Spider-Man, I should say. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. Look at me. Look at me and sleep now. In a minute, I'm going to count from one to three. On the count of three, on the count of three, you're going to, uh, you're going to look over, you're going to see a you're going to see a girl sitting in pink. But it's not a girl sitting in pink. That is Tom Holland. Oh my goodness. It's your favourite movie star, Tom Holland. That fella you've always wanted to meet. You're going to go over there. You're going to ask for his autograph. You're going to ask for a selfie with him. You're going to be so excited. You're going to feel like excitement inside your belly, really building up. You're going to be almost like jump up and down with excitement at seeing Tom Holland. You're going to tell him what your favourite part in his favourite movie is. You're going to tell him all about how much a big fan you are with him. Nod your head that you understand. So one, two, three. Open your eyes. Oh my, oh, who, look who it is. Who is it? Oh, what do you call that? Oh, who is that? You know who that is. Who is it? Go over and tell, tell, tell her what you think. Who is it? Go on, tell us. Don't be shy. <laughs> Go on, whisper, whisper. Who is it? I know, I know. Go over and tell him how much you like his movies. Why not? And sleep now, way down. Just allow yourself to have all that confidence. And that confidence will stay if this hypnosis is gone. You get bigger and better, stronger and more confident. You'll be wise as to when to speak to people and not to speak to people. But when you see your favourite movie star, you will just want to go over. You'll want to ask for a selfie. You'll want to ask for an autograph. You're going to be buzzed, excited. Nod your head that you understand. So one, two, three, open your eyes. Go over there, say hi to Tom Holland. There you go. What's your, your favourite movie with him? Isn't this exciting? Can you feel the excitement? 
look at me and sleep now, way down, deeper, 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 relax. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to three, and the count of three, that person there is no longer Tom Holland. Tom Holland has left the building. But you will feel really excited to know that you have more confidence than you ever thought you would have in your life. Your confidence is growing now, day by day and moment by moment. With every breath you take, you will have increased confidence throughout your life moving forward. Confidence to do things you never thought you would have the confidence to do. You will have that confidence now. So in a moment I'm going to count from one to five, and the count of five, all hypnotic suggestions except that confidence one will disappear. You'll no longer see Tom Horn, you will remember the number seven, and you will feel full of life, full of energy, like you've had a 12 hour sleep, like a six hour massage. Nod your head that you understand. So one, feeling that feeling of hypnosis disappear from the tips of your toes. Two, two washing up through your legs, through your stomach, through your pelvis. Three, take a deep breath in. Feel that energy washing through your head like a fresh mountain breeze, full of life, full of energy, feeling really positive, and five, stretch wide awake. Good to see you. Hi. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> and who is this person over here? That's Chris. There you go. Happy days. And do you remember everything that happened? Yeah. Yeah? Do you remember seeing Tom Holland? Yeah. Hi and welcome back, wasn't she a superstar? I hope you really enjoyed that video and thanks for staying for the tutorial section. Hopefully you'll agree that that was a very entertaining video and that she gained something out of it and also uh, her friend and a few of the spectators standing behind the camera really enjoyed that video. So all in all, that's what's important about doing street hypnosis. Number one, the subject should gain something out of it. Number two, the audience should be entertained. And number three, everybody has a good time. And I think those goals were met, but within the details of that, I'd done a skit you've probably seen me do several times on this YouTube channel. And if you haven't, start watching the other videos. I will hypnotize someone, I'll ask them who their favorite movie star is, someone they'd really want to meet, and then I'll drop them back into hypnosis and then tell them, in a moment you're gonna see a person over there and they're gonna be your favorite movie star. And you're gonna to want to ask them and get excited and talk to them, ask them for their autograph, etc., etc. Get all the buzz that you would get if you had met your favorite movie star. Now, what went wrong with this? She's clearly very hypnotizable. If you've watched the other two videos and check them out, like I say, they'll be in the info cards above. Check them out after you watch this video. But she's a very good subject. And right at the start, you see me just, as I'm implementing the new suggestion, I'm removing the old suggestion that she couldn't remember the number seven. And I get her just to check that the number seven is back. So I drop them into hypnosis and ask them who their favorite movie star is. And she says, Tom Holland, there he is good looking fella, I can understand why she would want to meet him. So I drop her back into hypnosis and give various suggestions that when you wake up, you will see someone over there. Now, I looked around and, and there was a lot of people mingling and people standing well back from the camera, so I didn't want to go too far. So I, I picked on her friend who was just sitting next to her. And I said, when you wake up, you'll see a girl in pink, but it's not a girl in pink, it's Tom Holland. I give her all those suggestions that she would get excited, she would want to ask for an autograph, really building up that emotional connection with the idea of meeting Tom Holland. So she opens her eyes and she sees her friend. And I don't know about you, I'm pretty sure it was clear that she'd accepted that suggestion. And as she looked at her friend, she didn't see her friend, she saw Tom Holland but she wasn't interacting. Ah, disaster. I say disaster, but as you were watching that, I think you knew she'd accept the suggestion. It could be told by everybody watching around, but she was just being very timid, very quiet. And this is where it comes into the idea that hypnosis is not going to make you do something you don't want to do. So if you're quite introvert, very quite quiet, and you see your favorite movie star, you might say, well, I'll, I'll not disturb him. I'll, I'll leave him alone. And that's not changing. I didn't give any suggestion to change that understanding, that mindset, that belief. And that's hers and she's gonna hold on to that belief. So what I do is I drop her back into hypnosis and give her a bit of confidence. Give her a bit of confidence to go over and say hi. Now, at one point I ask her, you know, who's that over there? Just just to make sure that she see is seeing the person I'm expecting her to envisage in this hypnotic state. And she whispers to me, Tom Holland. So I know the suggestion has been accepted. It's just she's too quiet, too introvert 
to really interact with the movie star. I myself is probably quite similar to that. I'm quite an introvert despite all these videos and uh, all the millions of views on YouTube. I am quite introvert, quite quiet. If I would see, and I did at one point uh, in my life, I was on a, a plane journey, I saw Ewan McGregor from Train Spotting and Star Wars, etc. And I didn't go over. I thought, you know what? I'm sure people bug him all the time. I'm just nice to see him in person. I'm not gonna go over, I'm not gonna annoy him. And I know many stars don't mind that, but that was my decision. And it sounds like she would be very much like myself. So I give her this bit of confidence because it's not the real uh, Tom Holland. It's just a, a hypnotic, fun experience. Um, so I was giving her that confidence to go over and say hi. But again, things didn't go too exuberantly as I was giving her those emotions. It was clear to me, and hopefully as you watched that video, it was clear to you, she was feeling the feelings of excitement of seeing Tom Holland and the buzz, the, the glint in her eye, but she just didn't want to say too much to him. At that stage, I don't want to press it too much further. I know that we've done what we need to do. And that in itself is my recovery. I've done my best to maybe drop them into hypnosis, give them a further suggestion to give them a bit of confidence. And confidence in general is a good thing. You don't want to be too arrogant and overconfident in life and disturb people, but you want that confidence to be able to speak up and say hi. And I think we got there. So it wasn't an overly entertaining. She didn't jump up and down with excitement and ah, you know, go crazy. But that's fine, that's fine. The street hypnosis to me worked even though it wasn't going the way I'd planned it to go and getting the vibrancy and getting autographs, maybe signing the arm or something like that there. You've, but again, you probably see that on my other YouTube videos. But she had a good experience and that's what's important. And you saw from her friend, she was really laughing. She was getting a good experience. And the end goals, the primary goals of street hypnosis were being met. And hopefully, hopefully you agree, respectfully met. So I drop her into hypnosis and at that stage I've done several skits with her uh, across the other videos and today's video. So I count her out of hypnosis, but as I bring her out, I say that confidence will remain and you will find that confidence growing. So I'm giving her that, what we call a hypnotic gift in life of embedding in additional confidence. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed the street hypnosis and the tutorial section as well. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up, make sure you give me a like, and don't forget to click the subscribe button and that bell notification button next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I bring a new video out like this here. That's it for now. I'll leave you with this video, which was one of her previous videos. That's her getting induced into hypnosis, and then you can follow up with the second video. Enjoy that video until next week, and see you soon.